Hello there and uh, welcome back. In this video I will uh, briefly introduce you with the new improved uh, locket within the newest version of an Android Studio called uh, Dolphin. So the new locket uh, should make our life easier by uh, simplifying the process of uh, scanning useful information such as uh, tags and messages, but uh, also to identify different types of uh, logs such as uh, warnings and errors. Personally, uh, what uh, I like about this uh, new locket uh, are the colors, so I'm tired of those uh, neutral grey colors that uh, are visible everywhere within the IDE, and that's the plus for the new locket for me. Now the first uh, thing you'll notice besides the colors is a new way of defining queries. Uh, this uh, new query system provides the accuracy of uh, what you want to query without uh, relying on the regular expressions uh, with the ability to recall uh, past queries from the history and share those queries with others as well. Now let me open up uh, the official documentation about this uh, new uh, log so that I can show you. So uh, here you can see a couple of different queries that we can use with the new logcat. For example the first one is called a package. Uh, the second one is called tag, so basically with a tag we can specify the name of our uh, uh, logcat uh, tags uh, quite easily. And the third one is a level. So there are six different levels, uh, verbose, info, assert, debug, warn and error. Now whenever we specify for example here let's say a level of a debug, uh, then we are going to see not only the debug but also other levels that are on the right side of the current level, which is in this case of course warn and error. You'll see about that uh, a little bit later. Uh, we can also use uh, a couple of different variations of those uh, queries. For example, here as you can see, uh, we have this uh, forward slash or a minus symbol uh, before the tag, which will allow us to basically exclude a specific value from our logcat. I'm going to show you an uh, example for that as well. And of course, we can use uh, different variations for uh, our queries. For example, this uh, symbol right here uh, will allow us to write a regular expressions as well. Now let's go back to our Android Studio, to our locket. So by default this is the query which we're going to see. And now I'm going to try to write uh, my own uh, custom queries. So for example, uh, I'm going to now here write uh, tag. And I'm going to specify the tag name uh, main screen. Right, so as you can see now I have a, a couple of different logs that I have logged here. So the first three logs uh, are uh, a debug level. The fourth one is a warning and the fifth one is an error. So now as you can see from here we can see all those tags with the different colors. So we see all those informations like uh, the date, the actual time, uh, this is the actual uh, ID I think, then the package. And now we have those uh, uh, icons basically for each and every level of our locket, right? And there is the actual message. Now we can of course use uh, some other variations of this uh, tag query, for example I can add this uh, a minus symbol and then tag, then the colon, and I can specify for example let's say uh, main screen number 3, right? So now if I add that query uh, then we will be able to filter all our uh, logcat information where uh, we're going to include uh, all those logs that contain the main screen tag but by excluding this specific uh, tag which says a uh, main screen 3. So as you can see now we can see a uh, message 1, 2, then we are uh, excluding that uh, third uh, message, and then fourth, and fourth again. I can change that uh, to a 5 maybe, there we go. Nevertheless, uh, that's how you can use uh, those uh, new queries to just uh, filter your logcat. So of course you can combine multiple different queries within this uh, uh, query system, right? Uh, there is also one uh, important icon here for uh, history, so here you can check out the history of uh, all your uh, tags and queries that you have used so far. And uh, each one of those uh, queries here, or actually uh, tags, displays also the number of information that they actually received. We can also mark one of those uh, queries uh, to be our favorite, so now we can press this favorite button and then uh, that favorite tag will be here uh, located in a separate section of this uh, filter history. There we go. Of course, if you don't like one of those uh, queries from here, you can just delete them. So you can use your uh, up and down arrows to navigate uh, between them. And you can press the control uh, delete button. So, or sorry, a shift plus delete button. And now we will be able to delete that um, uh, query from the history as well. I'm going to now use our um, default uh, package mine, there we go, so we can see all the results in our actual locket. 
So by default, as you can see, uh, our locket displays uh, quite uh, a lot of uh, information right here. But there are actually some view presets which we can modify and change. So if I click this little uh, icon right here, uh, then we can change between the standard and the compact view. So the standard view will contain all the information and the compact view will just show the timestamp, the actual level and then the message, okay? Uh, there is also the third one, so the third option is a modify views, which will allow us to basically customize uh, how we want to, to modify our actual view. So for example, we can just go to standard, and from the standard view, we can for example remove uh, those information, so just click apply. And now, uh, when we change that to a standard view, then our standard view will now display much less uh, information than before. Alright, and the last thing which I want to show you here is that you can actually uh, create a multiple locket windows. So if you click right click uh, in your locket, you'll have an option to split on the right or uh, on the downside. So for example, let's go with the right side. And now we're going to get one more locket and this other locket uh, will be able to basically uh, filter the logs even for a different emulator as well. And you can of course uh, close this uh, second uh, locket by clicking the right click and then the close. There you go. And also one more new thing that uh, you may have noticed is that the log now tracks uh, when the application starts, crashes or just closes. So for example, if I now close this application, you're going to see this uh, a new line that says a process ended, right? We can see also that a similar message on the top whenever we uh, launch our application. There you go. And uh, one more thing, so uh, if your logs are uh, pretty much long and you don't want to use this uh, horizontal scroll, uh, then you should check this option that says uh, soft wrap, right? So with that uh, option turned on, all your logs will appear within this uh, window, right? And you don't have to scroll horizontally to just uh, see the whole message, right? So with this uh, soft wrap, you will be able to see all your logs in this uh, single window. And uh, that's uh, pretty much it for this uh, new locket. So uh, be sure to comment down below, uh, I would like to hear what you think about this uh, new locket uh, in general. Also be sure to like this video if you find it uh, helpful of course, and uh, see you next one.